peace, family. Peace to the family. What's been happening, y'all? I've been chilling. Y'all come on up in here. Come on up in here and get this lesson today. I don't know what I'm going to talk about. But I know it's most definitely going to be about something. It's most definitely going to be about something, y'all. Current events, right? But the current events I wanted to bring to the table this afternoon is... From the beginning and to know every step, but um, like the boys, like their brand new car, they love to work on it. And if they see, wow, nice results, let's find this piece and this piece. And so tuning is a little bit more than it's well, the work in progress. A lot of work going, a lot of body work going she on. She was born white, but she rather she prefer black, being black. You know, she had went to this tanning doctor and got ejected with some type of injections. And that was the allergic reaction that made her whole skin turn, you know, brown. Because it's not black. Black is what my mask look like. You got brown. Auburn. Reddish. Reddish brown. You know what I mean? It's not black. Black is this. Black is this. You know what I'm saying? And then you had this other. Uh, I never understood about this here, right, y'all? At the NAACP, the sister was the president, and then they threw her under the bus because she tried the. Um, she was telling the people. I'll let y'all hear the story. They said she was a culture vulture and all this shit because she was trying to pretend that she was black to be the uh, NAACP president which she was the president. She also graduated from uh, Howard University. That's the swimming team that just won the, um, the championship this year. So she always been grow. She always grew up around black folks. Y'all Y'all know how that is in the hoods, y'all, in the communities. It's a lot of white folks and Puerto Rican people, and we all grow up together. And some white folks grow up around black folks, you know what I'm saying, all their life. In school, when we went to school, it was white kids that grew up with us since the sandbox. You know what I'm saying? So not only did she, as y'all would say, was culture vulture, she went to Howard University where some of y'all didn't even go. Some of y'all only graduated high school. But she went to an all-black college and got a degree in what she was into. And y'all threw her under the bus, man. Let's listen to it. Today, almost six years later, Rachel says she is still being punished, unable to find a job in the field. She's been arts and a mathematician and an instructor of Africana Studies at Eastern Washington University with a bachelor's in arts and a master's in yeah. fine art from Howard University. Then, in 2015, this childhood photo of a blonde-haired, white Rachel was a piece of her unraveling. When it was revealed, she had constructed a life around black culture. Rachel was fired from her job, forced off community boards. Social media erupted hundreds of thousands of tweets mocking her, while others were disgusted by her perceived role as a culture vulture. A culture vulture, you know what I mean? That's crazy, man. Come on, y'all. Cheers, later. Job in the field she'd been thriving in for years and struggling to provide for her three sons. Though she admitted she did not correct some Hold on, let's, 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 let's revisit our, uh, our siblings. And a job in the field she'd been thriving in for years and struggling to provide for her three sons. Though she these are kids here, her three sons here. Here are three sons there. But y'all claim she's a uh, culture vulture. 
evidently she been laying up with black men because she got kids, African American kids. So evidently she was laying up with some black men. And like I said, she went to uh, Howard University. She was always born around black folks, you know what I'm saying, y'all? Like some black folks was born around white folks, you know what I mean, by their, the way they talk, you know what I mean, and express their self, you know what I'm saying? So why would they even throw this lady under the bus and call her a culture vulture and make her resign from her position as the NAACP when that was founded by white folks? You see what I'm saying, ladies and gentlemen? The NAACP was founded by white folks, you know what I'm saying? So now, who is these people? And when I say these people, let's get back to this video. And I'm going to show y'all what I talk about. I'm going to show y'all what I'm talking about when I say these people. She questions the pound of flesh. She's still required to pay for her actions. Rachel Dolezal joins us now from her home in Tucson, Arizona. Rachel, thank you so much for joining us. Um, up, you know, part of the reason I wanted you on the show is really the punishment of, of this. Um, you've had the documentary. I first encountered you briefly when I was at the Today Show and you were there. Um, being but my interviewed. thing is this. They had her on all types of sisters, platforms, questioning her about her situation. Who are they to question her about her situation when y'all don't even act like y'all own culture? But for someone to embrace the African American culture and y'all throw them under the bus, that says a whole lot about y'all, man. That means you you hate yourself. You hate yourself that bad to see someone embrace the African American culture and do more liberating the African-American people than y'all was. And y'all got mad. Y'all got jealous. And say, who is her to come up here and think she can control the African-American community as the president, at, as the NAACP president, who she thinks she is? Well, who she thinks she is, her ancestors, her forefathers, was one of the founders of the NAACP. You ever thought of that? So who are you sisters? Talk a little bit later about your life now and, and how it's been affected. But you see these headlines, and there's since your story, as I said at the beginning of the show, it seems like there's one a month, and it's not just black, white, it's Latino, it's Asian, all these storylines. How do you process it, especially when your name is attached to some of these stories? Out of nowhere, you know, how do you process it? Right. Well, it, it is really tough, you know, to relive that every day and every week, as you said, whatever the case, if somebody, if somebody's name comes up attached to um, what people feel is a problematic identity, then... I believe this woman right here should have received an award at the NAACP awards that y'all just had. I believe this woman right here should have received the award for the NAACP award, a ceremony that y'all had. But y'all so selfish and conniving and hypocrites that y'all was all out for self and taking the credit for someone else's work. Taking the credit for someone else's work. She was doing more. She was doing more as the president, as the NAACP, than most you Negroes was. How many people y'all know had friends like her that grew up in the community, in the neighborhoods, surrounded by African American man? I'll wait. We all had white friends in the neighborhoods, y'all, that grew up around black folks all their lives, y'all. So for y'all to throw this woman under the bus and make her resign from her position and y'all out here doing more conniving and more stealing without a gun, this woman's owed an apology 
And I believe she should be receive reparations for her struggles and anxiety and all types of things y'all forced on this woman, man. It was white folks, Chinese folks, and the Black Panther Party in the past. Was it the white folks that brought it down? Or was it the Negroes inside the, 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 the party itself? Hmm? I'll wait. When you look on the streets, is white folks killing black folks? Or is black folks killing black folks? I'll wait. So miss me with that. And for you sisters, to question this lady about what the fuck she got going on, it was none of y'all fucking business. So what? She was white. But she embraced the African-American culture. What's wrong with that? John Brown was white. He did more for black folks and slavery in the past. The most you Negroes did. Most you house Negroes did. I'm talking about John Brown. Do the research on John Brown. John Brown was a white man that did more for black folks than black folks did for themselves when it came to that revolution. So miss me with all that bullshit, y'all. Y'all always say the past don't got nothing to do with the future, but yet y'all throw this lady under the bus? Because she was embracing the African-American culture. So you can't embrace the African-American culture. But I can embrace the LGBT community. The fuck is wrong with y'all? And I don't got nothing against the LBGT community. But how could y'all let them embrace their heritage? And here it is, this woman trying to embrace African-American heritage. And y'all throw her under the bus and make this lady resign. She's old reparations, y'all. She's old reparations. Yes, she is. What I never understood about this here, right, y'all, that the NAACP was founded by some white folks and some black folks. Right? W.E.B. Du Bois. So W.E.B. Du Bois and some of his white black. friends. If not some because of his the, white the, the friends. NAACP Got with like W.E.B. Du Bois and put them down with it. You know what I'm saying? This lady was well educated at Howard University, an all African American college, university. An instructor of Africana Studies at Eastern Washington University with a bachelor's in arts and a master's in fine art from Howard University. Then, but you niggas hate it. You niggas hate it. And then come up with BLM and let's get into the future then. If she did this in the past, what did BLM do in the future? How much money they sucked y'all dry for and went and spent all that money on themselves living these lavish lifestyles off the people's back that was connected with Antifa. But that was okay. That was fine. You people was backwards, man. You people was as part of the go along, get along gang, and you some house niggas. That get a little couple of dollars in your, your your fucking wallet, and you think you better than the next person when you really not. So now would I get to the point of they calling her a culture vulture? That's it. She was born around black folks. But she had got a position that some of y'all wanted that y'all didn't get. So y'all call y'all self-exposing her. But now we look around today and I said this story to say this. Why when white people 
dressed like black folk, African American. I ain't gonna even say black folk. So why wouldn't do white folk dress like an African American, embracing the, the heritage and the culture? It's a big deal. But when you sisters run out here and dress like y'all white, y'all don't get no backlash. But more other organizations can get more recognition than the African American culture when someone's trying to embrace it. And y'all don't get black backlash trying to act like y'all white and dress like y'all white and, and, and make your appearance look like you're white bleaching your skin. How many of you sisters out there still bleaching your skin? Huh? How many of y'all out there still bleaching your skin? No, huh? I'll wait. I most definitely will wait. So is that a culture vulture? Hmm? Look. Is that a culture vulture? Huh? Y'all call racial a culture vulture because she was trying to be African American, embracing the uh the, the, the heritage. So is this woman here a culture vulture? Hmm? The bleaching of the skin? The blind of the wig? The no, the pointy nose, huh? Is she being a culture vulture, y'all? And we talking about little Kim, y'all. Here she go, right here. Better picture of her, right here, y'all. Look at that. She's a culture vulture, trying to act white. And most of you sisters out here dress just like this. Most you sisters out there dress just like this. Everything is fake. Bleaching of the skin. Blonde fucked up wig that smell like shit after a week, right? Look at that. Horse shit on your head. Bleaching of the skin. Boob uh, surgery. What else? Eyelashes, look. Contacts, look. But y'all embrace this. That's cool. That's cool. That don't get no backlash. Hmm? Look. Look. Look, no backlash. That's cool. But when you try to dress African-American culture and you're a different race, you're going to get thrown under the bus and you got to go through different type of uh, platforms to prove what you did. And here's a picture of her before she embraced the white culture. Look, she hated herself when she was here. She hated herself. So she transformed to a white girl, a white woman. Look, she's a culture vulture. Look, she's not the only one that's out there, a culture vulture. It's more celebrities that's out there that's culture vultures. Look, these ladies hate themselves, man. Look. 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 Hmm? Hmm? Culture vulture? 
I'll wait. Even Beyonce. Huh? All y'all girls want to look like Beyonce. Look at her. No, she's a culture vulture. She's a culture vulture. She hated herself when she was right here. So she transformed herself to a white lady. See? 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 We gonna break this shit down today. Because y'all threw the former president of the NAACP under the bus because she was trying to act black. But look at y'all. Look what y'all doing today. Look what y'all ladies are doing today. Y'all hate yourself. Look at Beyonce, y'all. Look. You see? See? Look at this one here, y'all. Look. <laughs> Look. Look. Who that? Who that, y'all? Who the fuck is that, y'all? They hate their self, y'all. They hate their self, but they tell any other race, if you try to even act black, we got something for you. She hated herself. We got something for you. We gonna question you. You gotta go through all types of loops and hoops and yeah, we wanna know what's on your mind. What made you decide to what made you decide to act like you wanted to be black? But look, look at this. Look at this. Look at that. Self-hate. She looked like Joanne Rivers. May her soul rest in peace. But she do. She looked just like Joanne Rivers, y'all. Yeah. yeah, you too, Queen Latifah. I ain't forget you. I seen you at the NAACP awards, giving out awards and shit. I ain't gonna forget about you, Queen Latifah, bleaching your skin, wearing blonde wigs, trying to act white and look white, culture vulture. See that? Culture vultures. If y'all call her, if y'all call her former racial, former president of the NAACP. Here she go. They called her a culture vulture because she was trying to act like she was black and she was white, raised white. She was born white, but was acting black and became the president of the uh, NAACP. But she also graduated from Howard University. But let me um get back to Queen Latifah, who was the queen at one point. Right? Queen Latifah. Then she changed her whole appearance. She started being a culture vulture. She wanted to be white. Right? 
Let's talk about it, ladies and gentlemen. This is embracing your culture right here. See that? That's embracing your culture. Loving who you are. See? But when you run around here and put them wigs and conditioners in your hair, this is what happens. See that? That's what happens. When you're putting them conditioners and perms and all that foolishness in your hair, embrace who you are. You see that? Embrace who you are. Don't be ashamed of how the most high made you. Do not be ashamed on how the most high made you. You see what I'm saying? Huh, sisters? See that? See that? Don't be ashamed. See that? Embrace your culture. But right here, here we go. Look at this. Boom. Look at that. Look at that. Where's she at? I, I want y'all to see this. Eve, Mary J, Beyonce, Little Kim, uh, who this? Cardi B. I don't really know all these females like that. But as y'all can see, look. Look. Y'all see that? Hmm? Y'all see the faces? Hmm? Y'all see that? Y'all see that class? That's what we wanted to touch on today. Organic and GMO. What you want, organic or do you want the GMO? Because a lot of you sisters out here is fucking GMO. And that's a fact. So why get GMO when I can get organic? You understand what I'm saying? And that's a 100% fact. Know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to come up here and just kick it a little bit with y'all. It's 1.39. Over here waiting for the school to let out. Video is about to end soon. So, with that being said, until the next time, We don't have no room to talk about no one until you clean up your own mess. Okay? Screenshot that, y'all. And study that. You know what I'm saying? My right silence. I can say no if the police ask me permission to search me or my things. Say no does not mean I have something to hide. I can leave unless I am being detained or arrested. If I'm being detained or arrested, I have a right to know why and a right to speak to a lawyer without delay. Even if I can't afford to pay, I can only be strip searched in private by officers of the same sex. I have the right to know 
a police officer name and badge number. I can report a police officer who abused me, swears to at me, or violate my rights. Officer, if I am under arrest or being detained, please tell me so. If I am free to go, please tell me so. If I am not free to go, please tell me why. I wish to exercise all my legal rights, including my right to silence and my right to speak to a lawyer. Well, here it is, here y'all. With that being said, y'all, until the next time, I love you all. Stand on your square. Put the most high first. And love yourself. And always embrace your culture. Don't be ashamed of who created you. Don't be ashamed of how you look. Shit. You being real with yourself. Once you know who you are. You not hiding behind some type of mask. Or a uniform. You're original. You're, you're organic. You don't want to be GMO. But with that being said, until the next time, peace. Let's zoom up out of here.